Hello friend, my name is Abdul Basit and today I show you how to connect to Cisco switch via trunk port and how you extend VLAN across your entire network while connecting multiple Cisco switch together. I make this video on special request of Sama Mansari as he appreciate my last video and request me to make a video where I add another switch as a trunk on the network. So this video is specially for Sama Mansari for you. This is my network topology diagram. Here you see. I have switch 1 3550 switch and switch 2 2960 switch. Both are 48 port switch. I will connect port 48 from Cisco 3550 switch to port 48 on Cisco 2960 switch and I will configure both port as a trunk port. So VLAN 20 and VLAN 40 traffic can travel via trunk link between both switch. VLAN 20 and VLAN 40 already configure on 3550 and 2960 switch for testing purpose and PC already connected to each VLAN. In this video I just create trunk link between Cisco 3550 and 2960 switch and show you that I can ping from PC1 to PC3 via trunk link. So let's start it. Hello friend this is my home lab as you see in my network topology diagram before. Here you can see I have a couple of Cisco switch. Top one is 2960 and the bottom one is 3550 switch. Both are 48 port switch. I connect port 48 with this CAT6 cable and on both switches port 48 I will configure as a trunk. I already create VLAN 20 and VLAN 40 on both switches and I connect to laptop. One laptop, laptop number one, I connect to my 3550 switch. First 10 port that belong to VLAN 20. And the second laptop I connect to 2960 switch first stand port that belong to VLAN 20 also. Currently my first laptop will receive the IP address from the DHCP pool that I already created in VLAN 20 and here you can see. It receive IP 192.168.20.3 but my second laptop did not receive any IP address from VLAN 20 here you can see even it is connected in VLAN 20 ports because this port still not configured as a trunk so when I configure this both port as a trunk and it will pass the traffic from VLAN 20 and VLAN 40 between these two switches so second laptop also receive the IP address from the first switch and I can ping laptop 1 to laptop 2 on different switches to log in this Cisco switch, I need a console cable. Here is it, and I hope so you know that it's one end is RJ45 and the second end is USB. Now I connect this console cable one end to Cisco 3550 switch, and I will configure trunk port on Cisco 3550 switch first. After that, I remove this cable and connect to 2960 switch, and I will configure this port 48 as a trunk also. So let's start it. So I connect my console cable to first switch Cisco 3550 and I open PuTTY. I log in through serial port and my laptop port is COM3. If you want to know how to log in via PuTTY and how to know your serial line port, please watch my this video. Now I click on open. Here is it. This is my Cisco 3550 switch. I already changed the host name so you can identify the switch model or the switch which switch we log in. The first command we will enter is enable. That's it. Now I want to show you the VLAN first and I use the command show VLAN. So here you can see as I show you in my network topology diagram I already created VLAN 20 and VLAN 40 already created first an interface assigned to VLAN 20 and interface from 11 to 20 I already assigned to VLAN 40. You can notice here the fast Ethernet 0 slash 48 port is belong to native VLAN VLAN 1. I will use the port fast Ethernet 0 slash 48 as a trunk and both VLAN will pass their traffic via trunk port. To see the configuration of fast Ethernet 0 slash 48 port we will use the command show run interface fast ethernet 0 slash 48 here you can see the current configuration of fast ethernet 0 slash 48 right now it is switch port mode access so this is the access port right now and we need to convert as a trunk to see if we have any trunk port or no in this switch i will use the command show 
interface trunk and enter and it is blank it show us there is no trunk port configured in this switch right now to create trunk i need to enter to fast ethernet 0 slash 48 port so for that first i will go to privilege mode with command config terminal or config t enter now i will put the command interface fast ethernet 0 slash 48 and enter first thing i need to configure the encapsulation 802.1q for that the command is switch port trunk encapsulation and if i put question mark i can get the three option the first one is dot one q second one is isl and negotiate i will use dot one q that is ieee industrial standard isl is cisco proprietary protocol but i will not use that and negotiate the switch will negotiate to each other or no but i don't want to do that i want to use 802.1q so i will use the command show trunk encapsulation dot one q and enter this will set the encapsulation mode for this port but the trunk port still not enabled to enable the trunk i will use the command switch port mode trunk and enter that's it we configure interface fast ethernet 0 slash 48 port as a trunk interface on cisco 3550 switch and we'll exit this interface now now i will move my console cable from cisco 3550 switch to 2960 switch and i will create port 48 on 2960 switch as a trunk port now i remove my console cable from switch 1 3550 and i connect to switch 2 2960 I will hit couple of enter and here you can see the host name is change before it was 3550 my switch 1 and now it is connected to my switch to 2960 the first command is always we have to go enable mode first I want to see the VLAN here show VLAN and same like switch 1 you can see the VLAN 20 and VLAN 40 already configured the first turn interface already assigned to VLAN 20 and next turn interface assigned to VLAN 40. Also, you notice that this is gig port switch and port 48 belong to native VLAN, VLAN 1. We need to make this port as a trunk. Also, you can see the configuration of this port with command show run interface gig 0 slash 48. Enter. Here you can see the switch port mode is access and if you want to see there's any trunk port in this switch or no we use command show interface trunk and enter the result is blank so it's mean there is no trunk port configure in this switch right now to make port 48 as a trunk we need to log in this port first we need to go privilege mode for that i will use command config t enter now i will go interface gig 0 slash 48 we log into port 48 again we have to set the encapsulation first so for that we have to use command switch port trunk encapsulation and if i put question mark here the output is unrecognized command this is because on Cisco 2950 and 2960 switch only 802.1Q is encapsulation mode by default. There is no ISL protocol like Cisco 3550 switch. So we cannot use encapsulation command or we need to bypass this command. I will use command switch port mode trunk and enter. And for safe side we disable negotiation. I will use command switch port non-negotiate and enter exit and that's it now our trunk port is configured on both 3550 and 2960 switches to check that if i use the command show vlan and here is it you can see i don't have port 48 here that before belonged to vlan 1 now it's removed because only the access port will show here to see the port 48 configuration i will use command show run interface gig 
zero slash forty eight. And here is it. The switch port mode is trunk now. And to check the trunk port, we will use a command show interface trunk. Here is it. Here you can see gig zero slash forty eight mode is on. Encapsulation is dot one q. Status is trunking, and the native VLAN is one. Here you see the allowed VLAN on the trunk is all VLAN because we did not set any priority or we did not set any VLAN that will allow or not allow. In next video, I will show that how you can specify some VLAN to allow via trunk or not allowed on the trunk port. Here you can see the allowed VLAN on the trunk port is one. 20 and 40 because VLAN 1 is native, it's already available, and I create VLAN 20 and VLAN 40 on switch 1 3550, and when the trunk port is established between both switch, it pass the traffic to 2960 switch also. So that's it. We configure trunk between two switches 3550 and 2960, and multiple VLAN can transport between these two switches. Now I will connect my console cable to my switch one 3550, and I will show you the trunk status in that switch also. Okay. Now I change my console cable from switch two to switch one. Before it was connected to 2960 switch. I will hit the couple of enter. and you can see now i connect to my cisco 3550 switch to see the trunk port here we use the command show run interface fast ethernet 0/48 and here is it the fast ethernet 0/48 is trunk now and to see the trunk we use the command show interface trunk The fast Ethernet zero slash forty eight mode is on. Encapsulation is eighty two dot one q. It is industrial standard I three poly, and the status is trunking with native VLAN. Same here. The allowed VLAN is VLAN one to twenty and forty that I configure in this switch. Now I am going to ping from PC one to PC three in same VLAN twenty but on different switches. PC one on switch one. 3550 and PC2 on switch to 2960, and the traffic will pass via trunk link. So this is my home lab. Here you can see the both port are configured at the trunk, and the interface are blinking. So it means traffic is passing between both switches. On my first switch, 3550 PC1 already received the IP that I show you before because it's connected directly. But my PC2 did not receive the IP before, but now. Trunk link is established between both switches, and he received the IP from 3550 switch. And here you can see. Now what I'm going to do? I'm going to ping from PC1 to PC3 and PC3 to PC1. For that, I will open the command prompt and I will type ping. One nine two one six eight dot twenty. Dot the IP of this PC that is two. So we'll type two and enter. So here is it. We can ping from this PC to this PC, or we can you can say we can ping, or you can say we can ping from this switch to this switch via trunk link, and we'll check the vice versa. Here is it. The command we will put ping. One nine two dot one six eight dot twenty dot three and enter. Here is it. So our both laptop can ping to each other via trunk link. Thank you for watching my video. I hope so you like it. So please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. I am waiting for your comments for next video.